Hip Hop Records. So, tell us about what you got cracking right now. What are you doing right now? All right, man. So, basically, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. That's that's where I work for my nine to five. I do three different shows on there. For the first show, I pro I'm a producer. Wait, wait, wait. So, so you actually get paid to DJ? Amongst other things, I got <laughs> things basically like the fun part of what I do. My nine to five that pays bills. I'm be straight up. Nine to five that pays the bills. I'm a producer for the morning show on Shade 45. And producer, basically what they do is they call guests. They make sure everything is running in order. I run the board for the morning show. And just every everything that, that the talent doesn't want to do is basically what I do for the morning show on Shade 45. Now also, so 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 you got to go out and get the coffee and. All that stuff. I have an intern for that, you know what I mean? But I'll do it if they ask me to. I, I gotta do it. So, but I also get the DJ on the morning show, so that kind of makes up for it. Then, besides that, Monday nights, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Shade 45, there's a show called Lip Service with Angela Yee, who's also on the morning show. She's the host of the morning show. And that's that's straight girl talk. It's, I'm the only dude in the room, basically, and it's her and Leah Rose. And they bring in, they bring in rappers, they give them drinks not really no no real drinks folks but um and they they basically open these people up man so if you want to hear like a raw interview like you've never heard lip service monday nights eight to ten i dj on that show i play straight like joe the and wu-tang stuff i play like straight mid 90s that's that's my lane right there on that show and uh, any new kind of songs relating to sex i guess whatever wow so tell us about your show my show let's get to that i guess that's what we're here for <laughs> it's called the wonder years i'm dj wonder the show's called the wonder Years. now this is a late night straight mix show we're taking it back to like you know what i'm saying stretching bobito who also is another inspiration of mine and uh it's like underground but i, I interview other artists as well i interview like flow rider um you know, buckshot, all the, you know, just whoever, whoever. Keep going, give us some names. Oh, yeah, go on, name drop. I'm trying to think. Who have I, who have I uh, worked with, man? Most recently. Knife Wonder, Helter Skelter, um, Murs, uh, man. Oh, so, yo, check out DJWonder.com because I put every show that I do on there and it has the list of everybody. I try to get an artist every week on the show. On the show, you've interviewed a lot of people. Yeah. Who's been the most pleasant guest to interview? Best guest that we've interviewed? Probably a Ty, you know, Maya, maybe. Uh, Why? Why Maya? The sides are looking good. Oh, that's, all, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> um, who else? Let me see. We, we've interviewed. Jay-Z was cool. He's a, he's a nice guy, man. Jay-Z is a very nice dude. Does Jay-Z actually answer questions? Because in the past, he would just give you that chuckle in like two or three words. Luckily, our host, Angela Yee, has a good rapport with Jay-Z. She's known him for a while, so he opens up with her. Um, 50 Cent, very nice guy, man. You know what I'm saying? So I've had a great experience with, with a lot of rappers that you may not think might give the best interview, but they've been good, good for us. Okay. Why 50 Cent? Because it seems like he's just a troublemaker. Nah, he's, he's been the, he's the most professional person I've asked, that shows up on time. Actually, before he's supposed to be there, he answers all the questions, and he's just, just a good dude, man. So I've always, only had good experiences with him. Okay, so who's been a big pain in the ass? People that don't show up. Give us some names. Today, Ray J didn't show up two times. I still like Ray J, though. Does that surprise you? Nah, yo, I, see the thing is, when you when you do a morning show, I don't know if people understand, you do a morning show, now I've been doing morning shows, I started on Hot 97, um, and up to Sirius now, is that people don't show up, because rappers are in the studio, if you want to get a rapper to show up for your morning show on radio, you have to keep them up the whole night, and then they'll give a groggy interview, it'll be kind of whack, but at least they're there, if they go to bed, it's a wrap, man, so... People don't show up all the time. That's all. That's, that's all. That's all you can do, man. Um, people that walked out on interviews before, uh, Rob Schneider. Uh, he got up in the middle of the interview and just bounced. I don't know. Um, exhibit. I wasn't there, but they said they had some trouble with him. Sorry, dude. And uh, that's about it. Everybody else has been pretty pleasant. That's what it is. Now, as far as your production style, who has influenced your style? Definitely DJ Premier, another co-worker of mine. He's on. Uh, he's on Sirius Radio. And. Pete Rock, um, I like Ninth Wonder, what he does, um, Static Selector actually is making a lot of good stuff right now, 
um, another co-worker of mine. See, most of the, I get the luxury of working with uh, some of the people that I look up to. So it's a, it's a good thing. I get to see what they do, not only on turntables, you know what I mean? I get tracks from them and stuff like that. So it's yeah. like, like what, what makes Flex so nice? Just because that's all I had really had to look up to as coming from Delaware. I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't understand like what other DJs were doing until I actually started getting immersed in it when I was, you know, high school and, and college. But when I was a kid, like I would see Funk Master Flex on MTV or I would, you know what I mean? Like tapes would be brought down through, uh, you know, people who lived up in New York come down to Delaware. And, you know what I'm just saying, just his style of cutting was, was pretty smooth, you know what I mean? And... Besides him, people who I've gotten to appreciate, you know, DJ Red Alert, who I work with is serious. Um, Cypher Sounds, definitely, you know what I'm saying, skill-wise, he, he showed me a lot of stuff about using a microphone, and I appreciate everything he's taught me. And people who, like I see now in the clubs, it's hard because we've, we're transitioning, if, if y'all don't know. There's a, di there's a different style of DJing now, you know, DJ AM started this style of like Hollywood DJing which is mad quick it's using the Serato program that we use now and you cut songs like one verse boom 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 you mix in mad different stuff so if people are, are jocking that but that's about to be a rap so I don't know what the next thing is I guess we have to figure it out I think I'm going back to to blend tapes Ron G style that's what it is. yeah and, oh Ron G also yeah <laughs> another hero of mine that's what it is so <laughs> till next week glide out Oh, my God.